guys, so Halloween is just around the corner, so we definitely need one more scary look. And here we have a zombie old lady kind of look. I hope you like it. Um, here you see me warming up a gray face paint, and I'm going to apply a little over the face just so we can look a little bit more pale. And just try to warm up the face paint before you apply so it just goes smoothly on your skin and you will get a much better um, finish kind of look but yeah we're going with the gray all over the face not really 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 like an opaque look but just enough so we can look pale next I'm going in with a pencil brush and the black from the quad and I'm gonna start to wrinkle my face just so we can create those wrinkles and make ourselves look really old just try to frown your face and do all crazy kind of face expression and anywhere you see those lines and anywhere the shadows create you go in with your pencil with the black and just try to recreate the wrinkles Just try to think that something smells bad and like you're really really disgusted by the smell and then you will see all those lines on your nose and just go in with a brush and try to recreate. It will look crazy, it will look funny, but I promise you it will make sense at the end. Just try to follow those lines and everything will make sense. For the um, around the mouth kind of wrinkle, just try to do a fake smile and the line would just create by itself. But if it doesn't create, just go in with the pencil around your around your mouth, just doing like a circle around it. And then you see me here, I'm just wrinkling my face because I couldn't have any wrinkle on my forehead. But just like draw, I'm outlining my, my wrinkles, but just draw lines again um, across your forehead. Just don't do a way to like, you know, perfectly line to each other. Just go one up, one down, one in the middle. Just crazy lines. And remember, just like six or seven lines are enough. Not too much because then what is that? A crazy person is just creating an old person for now. Then the crazy thing will come up next. Then it's time for the most important wrinkles I would say and I'm just picking up an um, angle brush and going in with the black on the corners of the eyes just creating like three lines and this will make your face look so old it's not even fine I was actually scared about myself and no matter what look is it you still have to contour and I'm gonna go ahead and contour uh, in my face just so it looks a little bit more you know like I've been through a lot of trouble here I'm just using a sponge and going in with the black just drawing a horizontal line in my cheeks and then bringing it down towards my mouth just in a straight line like going to the end of the face and that would make you look a lot more old and like you've been through a lot of troubles and stuff like that because you're using a black you know um, a black face paint instead of just a natural um, skin color and of course you have to go in and all of your lines and blend everything out so it doesn't look so harsh and just blend 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 until you get the look that you're looking for don't blend too much because it will go away like it happened to me so I have to go over the things that I thought it was way too you know sheer here you see me um, breaking up um, a little bit of cotton just so we're gonna do a cool look on that eye brush <laughs> Eye brush, eye brush, eyebrows. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but yes, you see that I took the liquid latex and apply it on my eyebrows. Just um, put it all over my eyebrows and apply. Then afterwards, the um, the cotton. Just put it on top and then going on top of it with the liquid latex again and put it wherever the eyebrow is missing. Put more. Um, cotton and do the same thing on the other side this will look though this will create like the look of an old person like you know those old person that have a lot of eyebrows that they haven't do their eyebrows in years this is what I'm trying to create like those people from like you know the scary movie from Texas that's kind of the look I'm creating so everything needs to dry up and uh, it will take a little bit but it will look cool but then after everything's dry up take just a little bit of black paint on your fingers and apply it to your eyebrows wherever you put the cotton so it looks like effect of gray and like you know 
white hair and gray hair so it's not all white because it will look crazy like this but yeah and then you can take a brush just so you can brush everything up and it looks a little bit more natural even though this will look as natural as natural natural because you don't see this every day but this is how it looks at the end just put a little bit of black whatever you think you would need and it will look cool then the next thing I do is just putting a little bit of that like reddish burgundy color under my eye so I look like I have an E, I look dead and I look scary and it looks good for the look. But yeah, just going over the um, under eye area, just covering everything and uh, after I did both eyes, I went in with the pencil brush and took a little bit of the black and applied just like below for my waterline. So we do like more three dimensional look so it looks better and then yes I did on the hollows of my cheek as well hollows of my cheek on the hollows of the eyes I'm sorry I'm just like crazy but yeah on the hollows of the eyes so it looks a little bit more you know depth and a scary look because we're going to a scary kind of like zombie look that's actually what it is the zombie look Then what I did for the mouth is just created wrinkle lines in the inner side of the mouth and bring it upward. Just my trick was like putting powder on it so it would dry and all the wrinkle would create itself and just went in with the block. But if you don't get that look, if you don't, you can create that wrinkle um, mouth look. Just do lines in the inner portion of the mouth and then just on the top of the line like you see here just do little lines and that would create the old effect and then it's time for the one what we do here is just put a little bit of latex put a little bit of tissue paper apply it whatever you put the latex and then go over with the liquid latex latex on top of the paper and i did this for like three times and create a really thick layer and just keep adding it and getting it really wet and put the paper on top so it will stick that's all i did it's really simple but it's gonna look so crazy i promise you I also decided to do um, a big one under my neck so it looks like I've been bitten and that's how I become a zombie but I just did like a big triangle down my neck and just went in with the latex and then the tissue paper and then more latex and did that like three times just like I did in the forehead just they call the paper in and put it all the latex on top until you get it really really thick Then you just need some time so it dries out but I was impatient and took um, a hair dry and blood it all out and got it all wet I mean dry but yes um, the next thing is just to make it look like your skin and then here I'm taking just a foundation that it's a little bit lighter than my color and mixing it with a little bit of black so it doesn't look too white and just going over the one so it looks like you know skin color not just um, what is it not just white um, here you see that I made a little mistake well you cannot see it because I cut it off but I forgot to open the wound while it was wet which is really important just try to open it before it was wet because it's gonna be really hard for you to open it when it's dry and then once you have it all open just go in with the black um, with the black paint around it so you can look at the tree you can make the two-dimensional look just go around it and make it really dark on the edges edges that's what I meant and then I also went in with a little bit of purple in the center so it looks like I said um, more like a one and then just a dot of red in the middle and all the way like in the skin that's peeling off you put on the red and that will just do the trick now it's time for fake blood 
and this is like a really really like thick blood it's not like a running blood and I'm just applied to the center of the one so it looks like fresh blood it's sitting there and that thing hurt <laughs> but yeah I'm using a knife because I didn't have a spatula don't use a knife I promise you you would do much better job with a spatula but really careful I just took a knife and applied everywhere and here you see I'm just doing like little like you know splash of blood so it looks like you know some nails were grabbing into my skin or something like that just apply you know you can go crazy with this look because you're doing a crazy look it's not like you're doing something perfectly fine but yeah this is the look I hope you enjoy and uh, you go and scare people or have fun whatever you decide bye bye